so there was more concentration on the chaotic herself housemates rather and her than when she was trying to look for the money there was no scene of her you know trying to call someone trying to visit someone to get or source for the money hey guys welcome to back with better studios my name is adeshawa today i'm going to review the movie alaye alaye tells us about catherine who is in deep debt and because of this she takes in a new housemate to use the rent to cover for part of her debt unknown to her that this new housemate of hers is more than what she bargained for starring ruth kadiri summer perry popularly known as brother shaggy zig aluma and others directed by ok Funai. alaye is produced by ruth kadiri most people know her as the queen of youtube this movie is her first movie on a streaming platform which is prime alaya is a comedy movie that loops in harassment and violence against women the story is okay the comic part of this movie is so good you are going to laugh but what i did not really like is how the story of let's say the movie was put together so what i'm trying to say is that Catherine is in debt she's trying to look for money and she on, on the other hand she has this chaotic um house help so there was more concentration on the chaotic house help housemates rather and her than when she was trying to look for the money there was no scene of her you know trying to call someone trying to visit someone to get or source for the money although yeah she said it at the beginning of the uh, movie that she has tried all of this all of this but i just wish we saw her trying to you know call someone or visit someone to source for the money that will have made it more authentic because the only time I actually remember that she's in debt is when the creditor comes into the scene. I was like, oh, okay, this girl, <laughs> she has to pay the money she's owing. So that's actually that part that I felt, oh, this, this story would have been more authentic if that was done. So the actor's performance, Ruth Kadiri played Catherine in this movie and I like her portrait of emotions her annoyance frustration it was really on point brother shaggy was good with his acting also very funny as usual and i like that we got to see a bit of seriousness and emotional connectivity with his character in this movie something we don't really get to see because he's always you know the very unserious person the very very funny person zig saloma played gabby the creditor his acting was okay what I did not really fancy about his character is that it did not really pass that scary vibe to an extent. He was the one doing the manhandling, harassing people, holding people's um, clothes and all of that. But he had a bodyguard right behind him. So you had the boss, why are you doing the holding and all of that? So to me, that did not really put him as a very scary person so to speak so i wish the bodyguard was in charge you know doing the you know this thing and he was just commanding with his maybe his eyebrow or his fingers or something like that while monica friday she did an amazing job also she matched brother um brother shaggy's energy which i really like familiar in this movie she really matched his um, energy good accent things i like about this movie this movie is a comedy movie and you won't find it hard to laugh at all. You will laugh when you watch this movie. It is well casted. And also, violence and harassment against women were spoken about in this movie. It was specifically said that if you put your hands on a woman, you're a weak man. <laughs> so, yeah. Now to the things I did not really feel as much or I did not really fancy in this movie. First, I've spoken about the story, so I'm just going to move to the next, which is the background story of which Catherine is in debt. They told us quite all right, but in my opinion, it was spoken about a bit late, one hour and 15 minutes into the movie, which is towards the end. I wish it was actually said earlier on, maybe in the middle part or any part of the movie, but not just the end of it my reaction did not just i was not i was not really curious again when they told us because my patience has thinned out i remembered when they told us about um Fumilade's, you know money situation the carpentry thing with um him having a huge sum of money i was like oh okay this is it compared to when they told us about um catherine's death situation i was like okay i did not feel i didn't react to it as much so i really wish they told us at another part of the movie but not the end and also 
Eddie Watson character, his character is Ben and it was Catherine's boyfriend in this movie. The point was introduced. I I wish that I saw him maybe a scene or two before his character was introduced, the point he was introduced. Maybe where Kashin would just be asking him for money or something like that. But yeah, we know in the movie, she said she was telling her friend that, oh, he's not always having money and all of that. But I just wish I saw him before we now saw him in the point or the scene where he was introduced. Aside from that, there was a bit of audio issues towards the end of the movie. So I think that's just the only comma I saw in this movie but regardless seriously i'm going to really laugh i'm going to enjoy this movie this is my review for alaye if i'm to rate this movie is going to be a 6.5 or 7 that is going to be my rate for this movie my name is adesha till i see you in my next review bye bye for now